Hello I'm Artemis, welcome to PC Gamer Afterlife. I'm passionate about video games and hardware just like you. This channel is mainly about bringing gameplays, opinions, curiosities, and reviews of the latest games, focusing on the PC, but also of games on consoles, because I love video games and I enjoy them on all platforms. In my reviews you will be able to see in a very clear way all the settings and performance of the games in their maximum settings. And I also take requests, so, if you have a game that you would really like to see, let me know and I'll see what I can do. And what is my philosophy in the PC gaming world? I'll tell you a phrase I hate, PC Master Race. That word was taken from a joke years ago from zero punctuation, and became a veritable code of conduct that infects some of the more irritating parts of the gaming community. Just as hardcore gamers love to look down their noses at mobile gamers, a certain segment of PC gamers like to look down their noses at everyone. But all points of view hide some part of the truth. And it's safe to say that today the PC is undoubtedly the best place to play games, and it just keeps getting better. However, the PC has not always been a good place to play modern AAA games. Mediocre ports slowed the platform down for years, but a greater dependence on development engines coupled with console architecture that continues to approach to the PC means that it's easier than ever to port console experiences to the PC, and at this point there's really no difference, except for better graphics. The main downside of the PC is the upfront cost, a system on par with an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 will almost certainly cost a lot more. But that can be mitigated with access to better game sales, platforms like Humble, GOG, Steam, Epic Games and more. If you can do that calculation in your head, I recommend you jump in with both feet. The PC is certainly a very good place to be. And don't get me wrong, PC gaming is not necessarily better than consoles. Well, they are different platforms. Many people want to sit on the couch and play a game after a long day at work instead of worrying about driver updates or Windows updates. Consoles satisfy that desire. Again, the choice is wonderful. But between cheaper games, hardware flexibility and mods, for us, PC gamers, the choice is a no-brainer. We can't give up on you, PC gaming, and we would never want to, even if you frustrate us from time to time. We love you for better or worse. But at the end of the day, we should accept that we all share a love for video games. The more divided we are, the more the companies will feed off our division. Crossplay between consoles and PC is becoming a real thing, so hopefully soon it won't even matter which console or PC you have, but simply whether you have the game or not. And what would all this discussion about consoles and PC have meant? Absolutely nothing. After all, we are all gamers to the core. Don't let a shiny box take you away from your potential friends and community. Yes, we need all the brands in the gaming world to keep innovating and competing with each other, but we as gamers need to stand together. Now, get your controller out of the charger, get your keyboard and mouse ready, and let's play. I'm Artemis. See you in the next life.